The leaders will stay and work at this resort south of Munich, where officials have put in heavy security. The police and military presence is especially heavy because of demonstrations like this one Thursday in Munich. Activist groups plan protests during the summit, and some are camping out in a designated area near the meeting site. The leaders last met a year ago in Brussels, a meeting that had been scheduled for Russia before it was expelled from the group because of the occupation of Crimea. Russia's continuing involvement in Ukraine will be a major topic again this year, according to Jonathan Ayal of the Royal United Services Institute. The real question about Russia is whether it is simply a conflict on, about Ukraine or whether we're witnessing here something much deeper whether we here are witnessing a sort of a challenge to the existing territorial status quo in Europe. As if to emphasize the point, fighting flared this week in eastern Ukraine between government forces and Russian-backed rebels. At the same time, the leaders will be dealing with a newly assertive China, which is building and expanding islands in the South China Sea that could be used to control vital shipping lanes. And all of that is on top of the crises in Iraq, Syria, Yemen and Libya, and long-term issues like the economy and climate change. Leila Simona Talani of King's College says the G7 has gained importance in recent years, but still will find it hard to have a significant impact. The problem for me is that I don't see the G7 as a, a decision-making body, so my, if they talk about this, it's good for the media. Whether they will have an impact, I think, is a completely different issue. Still, Talani and Ayal both say there's no other group of countries that has the unity and capacity to at least try to address the world's most pressing issues. Al Pesson, VOA News, London.